fucking going camping. Just placed it up on a couple of Besser blocks. What height I want it, this almost is ideal. Use it as a laptop bench and then in here, doesn't hit on the door, just. I've cut out where the seat belts go. I'm gonna cut these out a little bit more so that these plates fit in. I'm gonna drill a hole right in the center and then I'm gonna weld a post off of this and then I'm gonna build a rail across of that. Original seat belt bolts, they're grade 10.9, six mil base plate. And now I'm just gonna weld some tube on there at the right height to make my rail. Put the fridge back in. I'm just putting them back in so I know that I haven't made too much of a mistake. I'm just gonna get a straight edge there and then measure this, this rail that's gonna go across that, mark it and weld it on. Found a bar to straighten up the bar. This is the board that I'm gonna use. Set it in position and then measure from the ground and see what size leg I need to make up. I'm just gonna do two support legs, one in each corner of this board here. Gives you maximum clearance underneath for storage. And then I'll sit the Chester drawers up on top there for my camera gear. Let's do it. Set your height, work out your levels, get your tape out, measure where you're gonna have your leg. And I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna go 400. Look at all of that space in here for storage. And look at that, the fridge is in there, power. I made it roughly the same height so that you can utilize that as a bit of floor. Maybe a little pantry. I'm doing r and I wanna leave Friday, but at this stage, So I took those legs off and just moved them over and give them a quick paint job, just some black cold gel. Now I'm gonna put the floor in and screw it down. So I've got the timber glued down and screwed. Uh, I've cut some carpet in. Now I've got my toolboxes. I need to bolt them on. Just found these uh, nuts and bolts with some washers. They'll do for the toolboxes. Bolted in now and um, I just cut up some conveyor belt rubber for this one. And then in this one, I've just put some leftover bit of carpet. It's all bolted down. What I really wanted when I was driving along is a little platform where I can just rest my camera and my lunch and stuff. So I've just got this little board I've cut to fit in there and don't even need, doesn't need legs or anything because I wedged it. Takes up just underneath where the airbag's supposed to come out. And then I just cut it so that it forms into the chair and just pull the chair in nice and tight. Boom. Look at that. Now I've got a bench where I can just put my stuff along when I'm driving. As you can see here, I've just been shopping. Got myself some beer. I've got three cartons actually. Coke, pancake, olive oil, spray, olive oil, chicken sauce, Vegemite, four packets of pasta, jerky, baked beans, pineapple and peaches in sauce, cream corn, normal pastas, bread, biscuits. 
some snacks of these Red Bulls sauce noodles snacks. Quite the shopping list. 312.25. Lump, lamb, beef, butter, bacon, strazzy chicken, cream cheese, nutri grain, toilet paper, some Gatorades, wash and soap, mint, fresh toothpaste, Panadol, breaded, diffy lighter, snack, heaps of pork crackle and chips and chocolates and nuts, some seasoning, harvest peas, minties, lollies, more beer. I've just uh, separated all my meats, freeze. All the other meat down the bottom there, frozen, rock solid. Pajamas, boxer short, four or five pairs of short white shirts, some black shirts, a heap of singlets. Here we go, it's um, 3.30 a.m. I'm all packed up, I'm ready to go. Revolution begins.